It's a blessing to have you with us on this Monday, and today I would like to look at a passage that we touched on a while back, but I want to look at it from a different angle, and that's Romans chapter 12. The end of chapter 12 deals with our response with those who are our enemies or those who cause us problems, and there's a lot of very important principles that the Lord gives us here, but I want to look at a couple of things here that I believe is very important. First of all, starting in verse 17, recompense to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. When we feel like we've been wronged by our government, our culture, um, the many different organizations around us that affect us, our job, and we're wrong because of what we stand for, there is a real temptation because of our natural humanity to want to have that revenge, evil for evil. But here we find that it's very important for us to provide that which is honest in the sight of all men. In other words, keep your testimony. Even when we gripe about what we're seeing in the political structure today, uh, as we look at uh, some of the unfair laws that are coming down, some of the frankly scary laws and procedures that are coming out of the government, We've got to keep our testimony above board with everyone that we are around. Yes, we should show our concern. We should be articulate what's right and wrong, but we ought not have a wrong spirit. Uh, we need to have a testimony before everyone. And then I want to go down to the very last verse. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, this is speaking of more of a personal situation where you have someone that's doing you evil and you turn around and by God's grace do what God tells you to do to do something that will bless them that will be good for them uh, that's very important that we have that kind of heart but I'd like to take it deeper based upon what we just said the attitude overcome evil could I say starting with a good spirit with a good attitude that will lead us then to be open and properly honest about how we feel, but not showing a vengeful, reactionary, selfish spirit. Around us are a lot of people that agree. We have people that politically align with us. We will have people that are upset about what they see and don't feel it's fair. And it's very tempting for us to join into that kind of an attitude. But as a believer, we need to take our stand on what is right, and certainly we can articulate what is right, but our spirit is what needs to also be right. And so I just want to encourage us so we don't hurt ourselves spiritually, so that we're a good testimony that what will be perceived as those that are against us, let's remember they're lost souls, we need to pray for them, we need to have the right attitude, and then when to all of those that hear us and see us, we need to show that we trust our God and that above everything else, we want to show good to everyone that God has put in our way and to show forth the love of God.